Emergencies are tense, nail-biting situations where you never know how things will work out. But when a high-stakes situation ends well, we all love knowing how the story unfolded. Teresa Strasser has three harrowing headlines with happy endings. Hey, Teresa. Thank you. These stories start with troubling scenarios, but rest assured because everyone involved does turn out okay in the end. Coming in at number one, when Hanover County, Virginia's Deja Etheridge suddenly collapsed in her home, her six-year-old daughter Jordan sprung into action, calling 911 and saving her mother's life. I'm a disabled military veteran. I had taken um, some of my prescribed medication and no sooner than I tried to make it up the steps, I felt myself going down. In home surveillance video, you can see Deja unconscious on the floor and Jordan on the phone. My mom, I think she just passed out. And recently, her shy daughter Jordan was honored with a 911 Lifesaver Award. Knowing that, you know, at such a young age, they can step in and be my protector. I mean, it's, it's huge. Considering her mom is a veteran, that hero little apple did not fall far from the tree. At number two, when Germantown, Wisconsin's Christine Ruckus suddenly went into labor at home, she called 911 and officer Justin Pesch arrived at the scene. It happened so fast, I didn't really have time to think. Um, so I just did kind of what I could out of instinct. She started pushing on the bathroom floor with officer Pesch and her husband by her side. Baby is out, baby is, baby is out. out. When the baby first got delivered, after a few seconds he started crying and that was, <laughs> That was definitely a, a relieving experience. The new mom is super grateful. I don't know that it would have gone as smoothly if Officer Pesh was not as calm. Charge that officer with theft because he is stealing hearts, at least over here. And third on our headlines with happy endings list, when Scott County, Kentucky's Charlene Revel's dog, Gabby, fell into a sewer pipe, she feared the worst. I was afraid she wouldn't come out alive. I was afraid she would get too freaked out and, and just stroke out. Firefighters worked for hours to free Gabby. We were scared because it was such a small hole, and then we were worried about sewer gases because it was in a sewer pipe. They dug a large hole and started cutting pipe, and finally, their hard work paid off. The dog was covered in mud and sludge. It was very exciting. I was, I was so happy we were able to save the dog. Gabby has made a promise to stay out of sewer pipes, and those were three harrowing headlines with happy endings. <laughs>